this is Reverend Barbara, and uh, this is Chapter 11. I'm presenting Chapter 11, Basic Principles of Science of Mind by Dr. Frederick Bales. Um, so here we go. The lesson is entitled, Practical Aids in Treatment. Practical Aids in Treatment. What are the goals? The goals of this chapter is to understand the practical treatment methods, the practical treatment methods, as well as the qualities of an effective practitioner. Okay. Well, the, the collateral readings are Hidden Power for Human Problems, Chapter 13, Your Mind Can Heal You, Chapter 4. These are by Dr. Frederick Bales. Um, a book by the name of Let's Talk About You. The author is Jean, G-E-N-E, Emmett Clark, C-L-A-R-K. Uh, the next book, Take Off From Within by Irvin, E-R-V-I-N, C-S-E-A-L-E. -E. Alrighty then, so let us begin. The Study Guide and Primary Text Basic Principles of the Science of Mind by Dr. Frederick Bales will guide us towards the light of health, success, and peaceful living from one source. Knowing that all people strive for the same truth, he developed this workbook so others can learn and understand the power of the mind and its potential. Again, the anthem is, I choose. I choose. There are ten questions, and here's the first one that answers. Uh, explain what it means, it is done unto you as you believe. What does that mean? Okay, uh, is there instantaneous healing? It is done to you as you believe. As, A-S refers to quantity and quality. It means the way we believe, when the conviction of the power outweighs the fear of the, condi of the condition. When the conviction of the power outweighs the fear of the condition. Instantaneous healings can happen within the twinkling of an eye. We can develop our expectancy of instantaneous healings. They can happen to you and me. Seek to heal the belief. This changed belief has been brought has been brought about in a few minutes uh, at a time. This changed belief has been brought about in a few minutes time. Number two, in treatment, what only do we seek to heal? Belief is a requirement, a necessity. We seek to heal our false belief about that person's condition and in doing so, tunes in on the principle to which we have access and which accompanies the healing. The principle of belief and expectancy, we all have access to this principle, the principle of belief and expectancy. Number three, what are the qualities of the good practitioner? A belief in the power of the infinite, a strong healing consciousness, or an inner knowing of the God, of, an inner knowing of the power of God, belief in his or her abilities, a spiritual belief of abundant living, a belief that the power is in the healing presence, having the quality or characteristic of humility and that the practitioner understands that they are the channel or the medium through which healing operates. Obstructions for healing are, for example, being a braggart or bragging. The master teacher said, of myself I can do nothing. This was humility. It was his confidence or belief when he added, the Father in me, it is that does the works. 
the Father in me. He it is that does the works. If I may, if I may put his statement in another vernacular, it is the creative energy, infinite mind, obedient servant in me that does the work. Number four, what is the heart of the dissolving method? D-I-S-S-O-L-V-I-N-G. What is the heart of the dissolving method? The infinite healing solvent, S-O-L-V-E-N-T, the infinite healing solvent moves slowly through every cell of the body, neutralizing each last remnant of disorder. Disorder. It is the slow melting away of all that obstructs and to restore order. Number five. What underlies the refusal method? Refusing to accept anything that is offered. To take away that which is unwelcomed. Treat the thought rather than the condition. Shutting the door of my conscious. Knowing that to them that receive infinite wisdom, power is given to refusing anything. Whenever we want we don't have to debate when we want to refuse something. No is a complete sentence. So when power, there's power in the word no. Okay? Okay. Number six. What characteristics of the law does the escalator method emphasize? The escalator. Selection, initiative, and take action. Escalator is uh, is like an elevator on it had only its steps and it takes the person from one level to another. So what characteristics does the law of the escalator method emphasize? Selection, initiative, and take action, take action. Number one, selection. What level are you seeking? Where do you want the obedient servant's full responsibility to carry you? Where do you want your higher power, God, to take you? Do you know where you want to go? Have you selected? Okay, it is the obedient servant's full responsibility to carry you there, wherever it is you want to go. The obedient servant will carry you only to the level you have selected. It is capable of, God is capable of carrying us to the highest of the highest, highest. It could carry, God can carry us to the penthouse. But if you choose the second floor, no problem. You will go to the second floor, no problem. If you want to stay on the main floor, no problem. The escalator, only will, it, its job is just to carry. It doesn't decide for you where you want to go. You already know where you want to go before you get on the elevator. The obedient servant will carry you to the level you have selected. Two, initiative. What is your plan? Make a decision. Number three, take action. Step out with belief in yourself. Our responsibility is to gain the consciousness of, complete, of completion. Learn how to develop, maintain, keep a level of consciousness of completion. Uh, follow through until the task is fully completed. Whatever the task is, follow through. Do, I mean, some of us, we may know someone who will start a task, but won't or can't follow through. Okay. So develop the, the characteristics or the consciousness of follow through and carry through. 
It is the responsibility of infinite mind. It is, it is the responsibility of God to find the way to open the door. That's God's responsibility. We are the what. We are the what do we want. God is the how. God is the how it's going to get done. So it is, it is the responsibility of infinite mind, God, to find the way to open the door. So select, initiate, and take action. Take action. What is the strength of the focal method, F-O-C-A-L? To think of the person that is being treated, focus upon the room being flooded with the healing rays of light. Focus upon the healing light that has united or joined with the patient. A declaration of having the life of spirit and there is nothing in the consciousness or body to resist or obstruct positive power. Power flows through the focus of our attention. Number eight, what is the strength of the replacement method? The mind of one who treats releases the physical so that it gradually recedes and disappears and in its place, he or she allows to emerge a perfect circle or sphere. I tend to believe this is Bales. I tend to believe that the perfect circle of sphere represents the perfection or, or wholeness. The image of perfection, and since there are no features, the image of perfection, the image of God, there are no features, according to Bales, or there is no face to intrude. The practitioner is able to impersonally, with his or her mind, stayed on the absolute of perfection from which sources all comes healing. Again, the image of perfection, and since there are no features or face to intrude, the... Uh, there's nothing to intrude the thought, then the practitioner is able to treat impersonally with his or her mind stayed on the absolute of perfection from which sources comes all healing. The absolute perfection. God is absolute perfection. What is the strength of the architect method? Well, the architect is God the builder of all things. Quote, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. The completed plan was laid out by spirit. The creative servant, mind followed and carried out the plan. Mind, capital M, mind always lends its infinite, mind always lends its infinite creative power to the person who has a clear plan for it knows nothing but to follow a plan since it is nothing but subjective mind whatever you want you'll get it be clear number 10 explain what it means healing is not so much a process as it is a revelation of the truth about us. It can be clearly seen that the healing is not so much revelation about truth about man. Whatever process is involved belongs entirely to the province of infinite intelligence. There is nothing to heal. Our work is to correct the tendency to look at outer effect thus changing our viewpoint to focus on inner cause, which is eternally perfect. Then if you have the book, Basic Principles of Science of Mind, page 160, Man, Know Thyself. Man is a three-storied being. Like you have a building that's three stories high, man is a three-storied being. So spirit, 
which is spiritual impressions, mind, which is mental impressions, and body, which is physical impressions. Okay, we are now completing, we are now completing the 11th lesson of our course and the last five lessons specifically on the technique of treatment. Our chapter lesson will be on consciousness. Chapter 12 will be on consciousness, which underlies all healing and which Dr. Bales have emphasized throughout these lessons. Call to action. Make definite progress forming your own practical methods. Um, a highlight of chapter 12, first of all, I choose. Okay. Uh, the highlight of chapter 12 will be the healing consciousness. The goals of the chapter, I'm not going to get into it now, but the goals of that chapter is to understand what healing consciousness is. What is the consciousness of healing? What is that? Number two, how to prepare our mind to become one with infinite intelligence. How to prepare our mind to become one with God. How to prepare that. And three, the mental foundation requirement. The collateral reading will be by Dr. Frederick Bales, Your Mind Can Heal You, chapters seven and 10. Irvin Seal, 10 Words That Will Change Your Life. Edith Armstrong, Help Yourself. And from the desk of Ernest S. Holmes, Mind Remakes Your World. And our prayer treatment for this evening. This day, my soul is caught up in the assurance that the infinite is close at hand, radiant with supreme beauty, the beauty of wholeness. Again, this day, my soul is caught up in the assurance that the infinite, that the infinite is at hand, radiant with supreme beauty, the beauty of wholeness. That is the end now of chapter 11. And I want to thank you for your patience and watching this video. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us and the presence of God watches over us, wherever we are. Wherever we are, God is. This is so, and so it is. Thank you.